The cosmos is all that is, or ever was, or ever will be. The cosmos is full beyond measure of elegant truths, of exquisite interrelationships, of the awesome machinery of nature. For all I know, we may be visited by a different extraterrestrial civilization every second Tuesday. But there's no support for this appealing idea. We are one planet. We know who speaks for the nations, but who speaks for the human species? Who speaks for Earth? Welcome to Cosmos. To an adventure that will take us across the known universe and back to its very beginnings. More than 400 million people in over 60 countries have made this voyage of exploration about the origin, nature, and fate of the universe and our place within it. We are creatures of the cosmos and have always hungered to know our origins, to understand our connection with the universe. It is the birthright of every child to encounter the cosmos anew in every culture and every age. When this happens to us, we experience a deep sense of wonder. We are born to delight in the world. We are taught to distinguish our preconceptions from the truth. Then, new worlds are discovered as we decipher the mysteries of the cosmos. Except for hydrogen and helium, every atom in the sun and the earth was synthesized in other stars. We are a star stuff, which has taken its destiny into its own hands. The discovery that there is order in the universe, that there are laws of nature, is the foundation on which science builds today. Every human generation has asked about the origin and fate of the cosmos. Ours is the first generation with a real chance of finding some of the answers. We have lingered long enough on the shores of the cosmic ocean. We are ready at last to set sail for the stars. One way or another, we are poised at the edge of forever. Some part of our being knows this is where we came from. We long to return, and we can, because the cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. <laughs> 